witches! Welcome back to another video. I just want to start this video off by saying I'm really sorry that I haven't been active on YouTube or Instagram lately. I've just been really busy and with lockdown and, you know, Rona and everything, it's just not been very productive. But I hope to be back to a normal schedule and again I know that I say that every single time but hopefully things should be back to normal. So there's that to look forward to. Another thing is, yes, I know that I do have another color hair and I know that I have different hair in every single video I make, but it's staying this color and I am aware that it is currently green. It needs another dye on top of it. So we're just going to ignore that and not address my hair. Today's video is about Book of Shadows and Grimoires and what are they, what they're used for and how you can make your own. So a Book of Shadow is a diary that witches keep to keep track on their spells, what different herbs mean, what different crystals mean, uh, the phases of the moon, and it's just a very personal diary to each individual witch. You can write down the types of rituals that you do in there and how they worked, how they worked for you. I like to, when I do tarot cards or my card of the day, I like to write that down in my Book of Shadows as well, just to remind me on that day what was going on. A good thing to have in your Book of Shadows as well is a Wheel of the Year, which is basically the witch's calendar. So it just tells you what events are coming up and what you can do with them and what you did on that day. To show you an example of a Book of Shadows, this is my old one. Um, as you can see, it's falling apart, but I didn't actually finish it until I moved back onto my current one. But I have different types of symbols so if I was reading a book or whatnot, or a spell book, and I didn't really know what any of the symbols are, I could just refer to my book of shadows and have a look at it. I've got how to cast a circle. I've got different types of moon phases and what spells are best to do in those phases. This is really, really handy, especially if you want your spell to be more powerful. I've also got different ways to cleanse your crystals and how to care for them. And then we've also got some spells and chants and different uh, spells and rituals that I wanted to try and that I have tried. And then just at the end of each spell, just how it worked, how I found the spell went. This is my current Book of Shadows, which is the one that I'm using now. I only moved from that small one onto this bigger one because I made that back in 2018 and it was just kind of outdated and I wasn't happy with it, so I moved on to this one. So again, I've just got the moon phases, important dates, so that's my wheel of the year. Um, this is the card of the day that I was talking about, so that day I pulled the three of wands, um, but then I just made my own design of the tarot card and then just wrote down what it meant. And the same with rituals that I've done and what I used in them. Another thing that you can do in your Book of Shadows is always keep any sigils that you make unless you needed them to be burnt or buried. So for this one I did on a strawberry full moon, I did a Black Lives Matter ritual and this is a healing spell and a healing sigil that I used with a candle. This is a ritual that I did for Yule and it just says that what I did on that day um, and also New Year spells. So this is spells that I wanted to do or what I did on that day. Another thing that you can put in your Book of Shadows is different types of dreams that you've had. I haven't yet had the chance to write them or put them in my Book of Shadows, but I've had a couple of psychedelic dreams recently, which are, might be important in the future. So it's always good to write those down in there as well, just in case you're doing spell work and deity or your spirit guide comes over to you and mentions it you can refer back to your book of shadows and be like oh that's what that was going on to a grimoire a grimoire is very similar to a book of shadows except it's kind of pre-made i guess you can buy pre-made grimoires this is a book where you have all different types of crystals, their meanings and how to look after them. The same with herbs and the days of the week and moon phases and everything like that. So it's very similar to a book of shadows except you don't write your experiences in there. It's more of a journal and some a, a guide to go to 
I don't yet have a grimoire, but you can make your own. A good way and ones that I have seen many people use is just by getting a normal college binder and putting their information in little poly pockets and that way you can move everything around and put it in the order that you want it to be in. That's all I have about Book of Shadows and Grimoires today. If you guys need any more information on them or any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I could do a more in-depth video over on my Instagram if you wanted to see each individual pages or if you wanted a more detailed description on them, I can make another video of them. In other news, I'll have another video out on Sunday to celebrate 3,000 subscribers and a year on YouTube. So I might be doing a giveaway for hitting 3,000 subs. By the way, I am incredibly, incredibly grateful for all of your support, all of your interactions, and I genuinely didn't think that this channel was going to blow up as much as it did, and I am thank you all so much for it, and I hope that my videos do keep inspiring you and you guys still enjoy them. One more thing before you go is that I was going to do a Q&A, so if any of you guys have any questions, it could be about uh, personal life, it could be about witchcraft, it could be about absolutely anything. I would love to do a Q&A with you guys and for you guys to get to know me a bit more and for me to get to know you. So please leave your questions in the comments down below and I will see you guys Sunday. Stay safe, stay witchy and I love you all so much. Bye! I can't do it. My brain doesn't... doesn't have the capacity. <laughs>